everything that you're about to see is real. Do not try this at home, mostly because this is designed for a conference room and not your home. Let's start the timer. In a little under three minutes, my friend and I are going to demonstrate in real time how you could add to a standard conference room just like this some world-class audio and professional video for your very next web conference. However, the trick is going to be to get the AV in your room to actually speak with the web conferencing application that you want to use. Are you using Skype? Are you using WebEx? Are you using GoToMeeting? Whatever you're using, we want to talk to it. Now, we're not going to settle for just a single camera in this application. That would be a little bit too easy. Instead, we're going to integrate three different cameras, and we're going to put them all onto our network at the same time. We will be doing this without a single USB extender, without a single HDMI switch, and without a single power cable. And to prove just how easy this installation is, my friend here is going to perform his installation while eating the entirety of this burrito. Eat up. Now, how is he going to do that? Well, if you haven't been paying attention, he's already halfway finished already. You see, QSIS is an IEEE-friendly network solution. That means we use standard protocols. It means that we use standard Ethernet connectivity. It means that we use standard off-the-shelf switches. So, when we choose to integrate an IP camera like this one onto the network, all we have to do is connect it to this, our QSIS core. The QSIS core does all the routing, the processing, and the control for every device in this room. That means the audio, that means the video, that means the control. You can see them initializing right now, right? Because by now, these cameras are visible within the QSIS Designer software. So, our software is going to be very easy to use. We simply need to add these devices into our pre-existing design. And I want you to pay very close attention because the only thing my friend is not going to do right now is any custom coding. There is no special programming required in order to integrate these cameras and endpoints into our design and to put them onto a QSC touchscreen controller. So the next part of the trick is to get the audio and video streams to the web application that we're going to use. That could be a laptop that's on the table, that could be a PC that's in a rack nearby, but other solutions are gonna involve an HDMI or a USB camera, and these come with a lot of problems, especially for the installer. You're gonna to have to be using things like a USB extender or an HDMI video matrix, and these have length limitations. So we're not gonna be using any problems like that because the QSIS solution is the IO USB bridge, a network device, which you can put anywhere you'd like. Maybe it's on the desk, maybe it's nearby. All you have to do is connect one Cat5 cable into the PoE-enabled switch of your choice, and you can kiss all of those pesky extenders goodbye. Now, the other benefit of using our solution is that you can add as many cameras and bridges as you like, up to 250 cameras and 50 video bridges. That means that if you want to run the entire building from this one design, you certainly can. You simply need to upgrade your core to a larger enterprise core, and then you can manage everything right from the data center. How's that burrito coming, my friend? Almost done. Well, good, because guess what? The timer's up, and now it's time to find out if we've actually accomplished this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to be a participant of this meeting. I'm going to plug in my laptop here with a standard 2.0 USB cable to the IO USB bridge that Patrick previously connected. Then I will launch my Skype client. I will simply call my friend who is in the other room, and voila, there's my face. And just to top it all off, I can do live switching between any of the cameras in this room without breaking the connection to the far end. And I've accomplished all of this without doing any programming and without any USB extenders or HDMI switches, all with the QSYS platform. So if you want to learn more about this QSYS solution, look up qsc.com backslash bridging. Thanks.